Hey guys, Katie here and today's my day off and I was just filled with this overwhelming urge to go to the bookstore. Like, I have to. Like, are you ever like staring at your TBR pile and it's staring right back at you in the eyes and it's like, girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. And you're like, girl, I'm not going to do it. I'm just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. Girl, I did it. I did it. Okay, so I'm going to take you to Half Price Books with me. We're going to do a little shop with me there. And then I'll show you what I ended up getting afterward. Here we go. I was there for three hours. That was a lot of fun. Oh my God, it's so hot. Oh my, this is gonna be so hot, isn't it? Ah, it's still ice cold. Okay, I'll show you what I got when I get home. Um, Half Price Books is just like the freaking best, guys. We did that damn thing. We did, we did this thing. Like, did I need, oh my God. Oh my God, it is way too late at night to be making this much noise. Absolutely not. Okay. You know, we tried it and we didn't fail, but we're not going to try it again. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, national disaster prevented at half price books. I ended up being there for three hours, which like, I'm not shocked, but damn. <laughs> So, of course, there's like a bunch of really helpful employees and they kept being like, are you okay? Like, are you still okay? Hey, sis, are you still okay? Like, you good, bro? And what I was doing was I was taking pictures of books that I was potentially going to get or that I wanted. And then at the end, going around and picking them up because, you know, your girl doesn't want to carry 12 books around the store. Do you feel me? So that's what I was doing. And this guy that was like complimenting me on my Pet cemetery shirt and he was really nice. Um ended up being the one who cashed me out. And it was so funny. Uh, I was like, well, three hours later, 
And he was like, well, we love to see it. And he's ca he's cashing me out and he was like, oh, it's gonna be $78. But since you forgot to clock in for your shift today, I'm gonna give you the friends and family discount. So it was like $64. And I thought that was so sweet and hilarious. Cause like, I was there for so long that like people started asking me questions thinking I worked there. It was a fun time. It was a good time. Like, you know, God bless the people that work at Half Price Books because they are like cool. Okay, anyway, running right into these books I got. The first one I picked up was Violent Ends. And this was like brand new. Like if somebody read this, like a girl can't tell. You know what I'm saying? So I had never heard of this before, but there was so many authors for it. Like I think that there's 17 characters in the book and it has 17 authors. So maybe it's that each character is written from a different perspective. Don't quote me on that. I have no idea. But there's a bunch of people that I recognized like Sean David Hutchinson, um, Neil Schusterman, and um, Brendan Schusterman. Does Neil Schusterman have a brother? I have no idea. Uh, Courtney Summers, you know, we love to see it. I feel like there's a couple other people, but I'm not, it doesn't matter. Anyway, lots of people, really cool. And I believe that this is, this is set during a school shooting or maybe directly afterward. I believe that it is during a school shooting. Uh, that's all I know about it. And that it is following 17 different kids during a school shooting. Now, I think that that is a very, it could be very triggering, but it is probably also going to be very entertaining concept. So we'll see. I'll let you know what I think about it when I read it. Okay, the next book I actually have already picked up, and that is The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor or Tori. I've heard it both ways on YouTube, so I'm not totally sure. Also, let me tell you, how did this girl write this book because this is like a certified freak seven days a week. Do you know what I'm saying? Like A.R. Tor like really went in for this concept. Like she like researched this freaky deaky shit and I'm obsessed. So <laughs> basically this is about a girl, Deanna or Jessica, you know, whichever one she goes by. And she's a cam girl. So that's how she makes her money because she's locked herself in her apartment um, from the outside. Like she cannot get out because she has a murderous rage. Like she wants to kill people so badly. So she locks herself away so that she doesn't do it. And she just makes money um, like sexually pleasing people through webcam footage. And it is so interesting. Like it is so interesting. Now this is not for everybody. Okay. Do you hear me? Like, look at me, look at me. It's not for everybody. Is it for me? Absolutely. Um, am I almost ashamed that it's for me? Double absolutely. But <laughs> I would describe this as, oh no, somebody described this on Goodreads as Dexter meets Fifty Shades of Grey and they couldn't have been more accurate. Like this is erotic, erotic thriller and it is so freaking interesting it is so good like this just happens to be the tropes that i really like so don't feel bad if you don't like it also there's a huge trigger warning not only for murder and death but for pedophilia now it is not explicitly 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 talked about and it's not necessarily shown i mean it isn't shown period but it is unsettlingly thought about so know that going in in case that's like a deal breaker. Okay, the next one I got, I was actually so happy to find, and it is The Wizard Air by Cinda Williams Chima. So I actually, oh my god, look at my freaking nails on this cover. Oh, we love to see it. Um, I actually had in a couple half price book trips ago, picked up The Warrior Air. Have I read it yet? No. Um, I love the way these books feel. They're just like bricks. They're just like solid. They're just, I don't know. I love it. Also, I love these covers so much. Like these are freaking gorgeous. So all I know is that Reagan from Prue's Project has talked about this series and said that it's very underrated on booktube. It's obviously like a fantasy magical series. That's really all I know about it. Um, there is a lot of really good reviews and some people that I know like personally, or like I went to high school with or college with, have given this five stars. So I'm like, okay, clearly like I'm missing out. Like I, I'm sleeping on this and apparently everybody's sleeping on it. So I need to jump in and see what's up and uh, stay tuned. I will let you know. Okay. The next book I picked up solely based on the fact that it is on 
so many book bingos and I was like you girl loves crossing shit off a list okay and also when I looked on Goodreads it has phenomenal ratings like phenomenal a list of cages by Robin Rowe like I did not know what this book was about when I bought it and then I just now looked into it to be honest but I'm pretty sure like Kayla from Books and Lala has this on like her favorites of all time or there's like a couple booktubers that do and it has like a 4.4 or something on Goodreads with a lot of ratings or of reviews so that's good enough for me to get it all I know is that I think it's about a kid in high school that's like a teacher's aide or like aiding or interning for like a psychologist and then like his friend comes back from like maybe either like moving away or from summer break I don't know and he's different and the main character is like trying to help him and like figure out why he's so like listless and like kind of upset that's all I know I mean it's obviously it's a contemporary it's obviously a coming of age but it's really not that long the book is in absolutely fantastic um condition so I'm definitely planning on I'm I'm saying I'm planning on reading this soon I have no idea but you can always look down on my Instagram because I'm posting like every book I'm reading on there so check that out so a couple weeks ago I went around to all my co-workers and asked them what their favorite book of all time was but two different people said that Invisible Monsters was their favorite book by Chuck Palahniuk and I have um tried to read like Choke by Chuck Palahniuk and I think I DNF'd it but Fight Club is one of my favorite books of all time also one of my favorite movies of all time so I'm like I'm always down to clown with him like I'll try anything but a couple people said that this was like their favorite book and I'm like you know what okay like it is very thin I'm shocked this is a new version of it that apparently has like new content this one I dead ass have no idea what it's about I'm so sorry I could have looked at it and I forgot ah <sighs> Okay, this book I was actually going to buy on Book of the Month as an add-on this month. But for September, I just wasn't like hooked to any of the book options. So I ended up skipping this month. But I found this at a Half Price Books, um, and which was perfect because I skipped September. So next month, if I get a book, I can just get maybe the Secret History hardcover as my add-on. Oh my god okay so ooh, do I keep saying stay tuned yes but stay tuned oh my god okay I need to shut up I don't have that book in my hand so let's stop talking about it so it is recursion by Blake Crouch um as far as I know this is like a sci-fi thriller I haven't read Dark Matter but that is a book that I had been planning on reading for August and then I didn't so we'll see okay Tom Hyper that's because I am because it's like 9 30 at night and I'm drinking Dunkin Donuts because I <laughs> I make great decisions and how dare you think less of me okay okay this next book I didn't even care what the book was I just love this author Peter Swanson now I can't really say I love the author because I've only read one book by him but it was the kind worth killing and oh my god clap 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 it's so good like I read it like six years ago and I freaking loved it and I've been looking and looking and looking and looking in every used bookstore for years to find that book and I can't find it and I don't know why I don't just buy it outright new like what's my deal I have no idea but when I saw this I was like I don't even care what the book is about I'm buying it because I'm sure he's written other amazing things all I know about this book is that it's apparently like we follow a woman who another like, there's a guy that's like do you want to swap apartments with me for a little bit like it'll give you a fresh outlook you know you need like a little spice up in your life or something and I think maybe she's going through some hard times so she does it but then she finds out that when she goes to this guy's apartment his neighbor has been murdered and she's like that's convenient timing and then she keeps finding stuff around his house that's like this is weird that doesn't this is not adding up I don't like this um so that's all I know you know I'm assuming it's probably following the case or the trial or like maybe he's a murderer I have no freaking idea but I'm excited okay you guys are not ready <laughs> you are simply simply not prepared okay what Ex excuse me what this this book came out like last year what the heck also it is freaking gorgeous it is so pretty like I dead ass picked this up immediately 
and this is the book I carried around because I was like somebody else is gonna buy this while I'm here um I have no idea what it's about and I don't care um I know that it's by Aaron Morgenstern who also wrote The Night Circus um The Night Circus I thought was okay but it's because I listened to it on audio I think and I just like was zoning out but it was a beautiful concept so I'm so excited. I know this is fantasy. I know it's magical. And I think it's like a Romeo and Juliet retelling. I don't know. But honestly, like, hold on. Hold up. <laughs> Wait. It gets better. I'm going to blind. Take off the cover. Oh, shit. <laughs> And punch you in the face while I'm at it. Good God. Okay, let's get back to business. What? <laughs> is this like an Illumicrate edition or does everyone look this amazing? Like, is this a freaking joke? It is. Oh my God. It is so pretty. Like, this could be the phone book and I'd be like, the gospel has spoken. I must imbibe. I must buy it. Because this is everything. Okay? Look at me and look at this. Look at this and look at me. Look at me and then look at this and then look back at me. Are you telling me this is not going to look sexy on my shelf? Because you are wrong if you're saying no. This is a hot ass ticket. Okay? And um, I hope it isn't terrible because if, if, it, if it's even barely good, it's going on the shelf. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I got eight books, five of which were hardbacks, so that's, like, a freaking success. And they were in really good condition, so I think I did a great job. I had so much fun taking you guys shopping with me. That was so cool. And tell me if you like this video. Also, tell me which one of these books you want me to read, what you thought about them, if you want to see reading vlogs on anything, because your girl is open to suggestions, okay? Like, we love to hear from you. Speaking of... I want to hear from you. So I have my Goodreads link down below, which I am posting on fervently. Like, I'm obsessed with tracking my reading. You don't, you don't know. And then also I'm going to have my Instagram link down below, which I'm posting a lot of bookish content right now. So um, hit me up, okay? While you're at it, you could like this video and subscribe because that would be um dope. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you soon in a new video. Bye.